Real Madrid 2, Dortmund 0. And boy, did we get away with one today. We must have had God on our side, as we usually do, because I don't know how Dortmund did not manage to score at all today. And we'll talk about their performance in a bit. But, yo, this game was crazy. And we end up winning number 15. Another Champions League in the bag. And this is just what we do, people. Look, we shithoused our way to the dub, and I'll take it. I'd much rather get outplayed and still find a way to win than play great football, create load of chances, and then I lose, right? There's no such thing as a good loser. There's only good winners, and that's what we are. The problem that Dortmund had today was that they weren't able to put away their chances. They didn't finish their food. But we don't have that issue because when we get a little one-two chances, we're clinical. We put it away. Who the hell had a Danny Carvajal header on their bingo card today? Because I didn't see a Danny Carvajal goal coming. A good corner by Tony Cruz right on the money for that Carvajal header. And then that second goal to kill the game. Who else but that boy Vinny? Give my man that Ballon d'Or immediately. He is the best attacking player in world football. He is one of the best big... No, actually, he is the best big game player in any of the top five leagues right now. Vinny is inevitable. And he didn't even have a good game today. But when it mattered the most, he did his job. Now, I want to say this, because I'm very happy that we won. But I think it would be disingenuous of me to not also criticize the team. Because, while yes, at the end of the day, job done, Champions League is being lifted, number 15 is in, Holland Madrid, it's fantastic. But that performance today was shit. We looked awful today. Dortmund... We're just not clinical. They had so many chances. They were carving us up. They were cooking us. Most notably, Adeyemi on that left wing was giving us issues. Was giving Danny Carvajal a hard time. We couldn't shrink together. Five passes without losing the ball. Our attackers ghosted today. Thank God Danny Carvajal was able to step up with the goal. Because I didn't think any of our players... Up front were. Rodrigo. Ghosted. I didn't even notice that he was out there. Until the 55th minute. I had to put his face. On a box of milk. Saying have you seen my right winger. Because he's not at Wembley. Can somebody let me know. Where Rodrigo was at today. Awful performance. Was non-existent. I think Courtois. Had a huge game today. He made big save after big save. This is why he is the best keeper in the world. This is why Carlo Ancelotti decided to start him instead of Lunin. And like an idiot, I actually questioned that decision. I actually wanted Lunin to be in goal today. Because I thought he did nothing wrong. If it was not for Lunin, we wouldn't even have made the Champions League final. So I questioned that decision from Carlo. I have learned to stop. Because... For as good as Luton's been this season, one of the best goalkeepers in Europe while Courtois was injured, I don't know if he would have made those big saves that Thibaut did. So, Courtois, congratulations. Man of the match performance. But aside from him and Carvel Hall and Vinny for scoring those two goals, not that many people are going to get praise from me. Because the performance today was not good enough. It seems like every single game, we start off sluggish. Why? Why? Every time. I did a match prediction yesterday, and I predicted that Dortmund were going to start off better than us. They were going to have some good chances, and I thought that they would score first. But I said in that second half, we'll flip that switch, and we'll turn on and cook them. And we did it. We did not. Vinny today, he didn't have the best of games. I thought he should have done a lot more. I thought both our wingers were going to be able to cause them issues because Rearson and Ian Matson defensively, there's no way they should be able to hold their own with Vinny and Rodrigo. But they did today. 
Matt Hummels had a huge game as well. But Jude got that assist. Nice little pass to Vinny who puts it away. Because I'm not going to lie, bro. Jude goes to today as well. Except for that assist. Where was he today? Our midfield. We look sloppy. But I'm glad that we got the dub. But we have to be real with ourselves and call out bad performances as well. You can do both. You can praise and you can criticize, okay? I'm still happy. Champions League number 15 is in the books. Danny Carvajal, Luka Modric, Tony Cruz have won six Champions Leagues. Most people don't even win one. Absolute legends. Tony Cruz's last game for the club, and he goes out in style. There's no better way to go out than lifting the big ears. And the way that this guy has been one of the best midfielders in Europe this season, at his age, and his levels have not dropped at all, I'm actually very sad that he's retiring because I believe Tony Cruz could play for another two to three years at the top level. One of the best midfielders that this game has ever seen. Valverde today was kind of non-existent as well. Luka Modric came on towards the end. Did okay. I'm just very happy, man. Look, didn't like the performance, but I like the end result. We'll take it, bro. There's no such thing as good losers. It's only good winners. And that's what we do. If you let us have a chance at the end of a game, we're going to find a way. This is football heritage at its finest. I think Dortmund... They had a good campaign to get to the Champions League final. But I was happy that we got them. I was happy to be playing them. You want to know why? Because I didn't think that they were going to be that good. I didn't think that they, that they were going to cause us that many issues. Today, they took me by surprise. And I still don't rate Dortmund like that. Because to me, they're just a human trafficking organization. They don't care about actually winning trophies. They just want to make profit. They just want to sell their young kids for a lot of money. That's what they're on. They finished fifth in the Bundesliga. Last season, they bottled the league. And how did they respond? By selling some of their best players, bought some kids, and did nothing else. But, got to give them credit because nobody expected them to be here. And also, nobody expected Real Madrid to be here. I remember when the quarterfinal matchups got released. They only gave Madrid a 36% chance of advancing past Man City. That was the lowest odds out of any team that was left. Are you dumb? Also got to give credit to my guy, Carlo Ancelotti. The greatest manager of all time. Don't talk to me about Sir Alex Ferguson, Jose Mourinho, Arsene Wenger, anybody else. No. Let's compare the CVs. Ancelotti has won the Champions League more time than any other manager in history. The only thing that has more Champions Leagues than him is Real Madrid. This man is an absolute legend. Look at the season that we just had. All the injuries. No proper striker. And we never complained. Head down. Go out there and win. And that's what we did. Because by winning the Champions League today, we just completed a mini treble. Spanish Super Cup. La Liga. Champions League. What is it called when you win three major trophies in one year? It doesn't matter that it wasn't the Copa del Rey. Because we'll win that next season. Excellent season from us, man. We overcame so much. And I got to give credit to my guy, Vinny. He needs that Ballon d'Or. He is the best attacking player in the world. I also got to give credit to Drew Bellingham. The way that this guy was able to come in and kind of take up that striker role for us. He's had one of the best debut seasons that we've probably ever seen. Now, the focus is on next season. What are we going to do this summer? I hope that we announce Mbappe in the next five days. I think that we will. And that is going to hit the timeline like crack. But, yeah, man, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that's on my mind. All that I know is that I'm super happy and I love this club. I have made some bad sports decisions. All my other teams that I like in other sports are shit. Madrid is the one thing that keeps me sane. These guys are inevitable. Dorman, they have nobody to blame but themselves. I think that they played as well as you could have. Just wasteful. 
Fulkrug, Sancho, Adeyemi, Marco Royce. How come you guys were able to put away those chances? You were gifted a lot of them. It is what it is, yo. My man of the match today, though, I will say Vinicius. Just because he put away that second goal. And that kind of killed the game. I think that Danny Carvajal and Thibaut Courtois are also in that conversation. Um, but, yeah, those three players are the only ones that I think can really hold their head up. Uh, because, aside from that, nothing that we did actually stopped Dortmund but their own lack of quality in the final third. But, yo, get in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about this game. Definitely make sure to smash that like button. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe as well. I'm out, people. Peace.